Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I'm going to go and visit a load of my old bases that I've built. One, to look at the planets to see how they've changed, but two, to see if my bases are worth keeping or deleting. I'm going to be doing this from the actual uh, Nexus, because then I can, you know, just transfer quickly back again with ease. So I'll see you over at the Portal Terminus when I'm firing up my first base. See you in a moment, people. Okay, jumps um, out to the actual terminus. Let's go to uh, your bases. Now, I'm going to hit up the NMSA Boyd Zoid. This is on a Fisher planet. It's a shame that the thumbnails don't actually work, or I should be able to see what the planet and base look like beforehand. Okay, jumps. Well, we've we've arrived, Kated. You know what? This planet doesn't look any different. This planet looks the same, apart from the sky. The sky used to be purple before. It's now a beautiful blue, which is cool. And the actual base itself is still intact. Now, this is called the Boyd Zoid, because Boyd built it for me. If you don't know Boyd, he is a master base builder. Yeah, so I just ran around grabbing all the actual resources, and he put this thing together for me. It was based on the old Zoid toys that we used to have as kids and stuff. And yeah, I think this came out pretty darn well. Yeah, Boyd, I've met him in real life as well. We went to the No Man's Sky meetup together. Hopefully he's coming this year. It'd be pretty cool to see Boyd again. But anyway, now I can just hit return on my quick menu. So the reason I'm doing this video is somebody actually said, Captain Steve, your, your Halloween base that you did the other year it's all changed to a floating island planet. It used to be a swamp planet. Now it's a floating island one. So I figured I'd just go for all my favorite bases and take a look to see if any have changed. Let's go to this one, my Kraken Scorpion. This got featured in the Nexus once. Okay, and we've arrived, Decated. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay, well, this is my Kraken Scorpion. I don't remember building that over there. Is that somebody else's base? Nope. Captain Steve Fan. Somebody else has built a base here. Okay, so this is my Kraken Scorpion. And uh, yeah, this, this has been... I don't believe it was a swamp planet before. Who's built this, though? It's their own sort of rendition. It's like some other weird spider thing. All right. Cool. Well, that wasn't expected, but I like the use of the arms and stuff that you've put there. That does look, look that does look pretty awesome. All right. Pretty cool. So I give you a spider base. Nice. Oh my days, look! We've got insects here! We didn't have insects here before. That really works well with the theme of this. So if you want to come and build an insecty oidy type base here. I mean look at that. Oh, they're so cool. Right, here you go. Here's the coordinates. If you want to come here and build an insect droid base, please do. I mean, yeah, it's now got insects all over the planet. That is a bonus. That's freaking awesome. This is in Euclid. And yeah, like I say, this base actually got featured as one of the featured bases inside of the Space Anomaly quite some time ago. When it appeared there, man, I lost my mind. I was like, oh, my days, I just featured one of my bases. But that is so cool that we've now got insects on this planet, people. Yeah, I tried to make a little skeleton of one of those, like, flying worm creatures as well. I think that looks quite cool. Awesome! Oh, I'm so impressed. That's so cool. Okay, let's turn to the Nexus. Bonus, that one. Okay, now this is my everything farm. This was actually my portal hub base. This was like a, a hub of the 905 for some time. I'm more eager to see the planet than the base. Let's have a look. All right, chums, when I've arrived, Kated planet looks about the same yep it had these little bipedal guys on it before as well i don't think this planet has actually changed it does look quite cool with all the storms and stuff i don't remember it being shrooms though i th i thought it was like strange trees you know the fat trees i'm fairly sure it was the fat trees before not shrooms but you know what that actually looks quite cool i'm fairly happy with that anyway that's all good I don't remember the skies being yellow, but, you know. Okay, anyway, let's go back. Okay, chums, I'm going to jump to this one. The Euclid Centre. This is right in the centre of Euclid, and it's an R2-D2 base, and it was on a very lush planet, so like yellowy grass, quite golden in colour, if memory serves. Let's jump on over and let's take a look-see. 
Sounds like there's an incoming storm on its way. Okay, let's have a look out, see then. Oh, okay. Well, this looks a little bit redder than I remember. And less foresty. Oh, it's, it's a floating island planet now. Oh, that's magical. And yeah, it's more of an orangey colour now. It used to be a yellowy colour. Now, at one point, this I think it used to have Diplos, then it transformed to Triceratopses, or maybe that's another base that I'm thinking of. But that's pretty darn cool. Sweet. Well, I know a lot of people are looking for floating island bases, and this one is right in the centre of Euclid, really close to the edge of the ga well, galaxy, so you can just jump to the next system. I give you the portal code for this. There you go. It's in the bottom left-hand corner. Go check that one out. It's in Euclid, like I say. Freaking awesome. Very cool. Oh, look at the, the sunset on this. The hues are awesome. Very cool. Very cool indeed. There's a load of creatures just over this hill. Let's see if they are anything special. Giant crab creatures now, people. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Let's go back to the old Nexus. Okay, now this planet was crazy before the actual update. This one had massive storms. It was like um, an overgrown type swamp planet. I built some little robot turtles there, if I remember rightly. We, this planet was insane. Let's take a look at it now. Holy mackerel. <laughs> it is still pretty darn freaking vicious. Oh, the colour of this is amazing. Oh, no, it's got floating islands too. No way. Okay, so this used to be a swamp planet. What is it now? Overgrown, and it's actually a lush planet now. What the heck? But it's still got raging storms. I mean, look, here's my turtles. So there's a little turtle there on the bank. See him? He's pretty darn sweet, isn't he? And then there was one that was swimming in the water. Oh, he's still swimming in the water. That's cool. And now it's all wavy davy. That looks epic. Cool. And there's a little lookout over here. But it's a floating island planet now. With crazy storms. Oh, that's so cool. Now, it used to have extreme sentinels as well. One second. Let me just um, go into options. Difficulty. Let's just put it onto normal for a second. Let's see if the sentinels swarm on me. Yeah, high security planet. Yeah, yeah, the sentinels are here. This planet is crazy. The planet tries to kill you. The sentinels try to kill you. Everything on this planet wants to kill you. But it's such a cool planet. Okay, there you go. If you do want to come here, that's the portal code. Come prepared. You... It, it's it's a freaking hellhole. It's a hellhole, but it's a hellhole worth a visit. Trust me. There's nothing quite like it. The pictures you get on this planet, and now with those floating islands, even more so. Oh, that's going to be so cool. Anyway, I better get get out of here. Okay, let's go to my droid nanite farm because it's a droid planet. I'm wondering whether it's got some of the living building droids there let's go and see if there's any new droids that have appeared because it used to only have two faunas man every time i land on these planets there's a storm on its way okay okay it's still got the giant rings all over it which is what i loved about this planet in the first place you can see how many bases that are here i encourage people to come here and put down bases holy fudge has it got giant worms now as well I think it has. I just heard one. Jesus. Okay, I didn't see it, but I've definitely heard it. Okay. We've got some droids here. Oh, yeah. Look, there's a living building right there. There's a couple of them. Oh, look at those. They're pretty gnarly, aren't they? They're even my logo colours. Well, that's, that's pretty darn lucky. Let's have a little photo of that. Oh, that's pretty darn awesome. You know what? That that could be a, a thumbnail right there, couldn't it, people? 
Yeah, let's just take me off the screen. Actually, I'll leave myself on the screen. Ha! -ha! That'd be my thumbnail. <laughs> okay, come on, people. There we go. Thumbnail done. Brilliant, eh? Okay. <laughs> Fun times. Okay, well, I think I've seen enough of that planet. That looks that looks pretty darn epic, doesn't it? Oh, look, there's a secondary type. There's another one there. All right, well, hopefully you quite like these. If you want to come here, you're more than welcome to. There you go, I'll give you the portal code for that one. Down the bottom left corner, people. It's in Euclid. It's a droid nanite farm. Great place to get a shed load of nanites quite quickly, quite easily. Yeah, thank you. Cool, yeah. Okay, chums, we, we visited my infested lush the other day, and it was covered in those corn trees. The update is now out, so I'm hoping it's gone back to being an infested planet. This one now says flourishing planet, even though it was an infested lush. Uh, let's see how it looks now, after the fix. Okay, chums, well, we've arrived. It's no longer got the corn trees. It still makes that really, really strange sound like it's an infested planet. But it's not infested. We've now got these big bulbous trees on here. And look at the blueness of the sky. Look at the contrast and the orange and the blue. Imagine heck, it's like freaking Goku from Dragon Ball Z, isn't it? Freaking awesome. Yeah, well, he is orange and blue, isn't he? But yeah. It's no longer infested. It's just a lush now. It's very lush. Very cool. Well, the only reason I had a base here was because I wanted a base on an infest infested world. That's no longer the case. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, I keep the base here anyway, but almost seems a little bit redundant now, to be honest. Hmm. Coolio. Interesting. Okay, next I'm going to go to this one, which was like a purple lush planet. It was beautiful, this planet. And I've built a giant mecha diplo here, mainly because the planet was covered in giant diplos. It's where I go to get all my diplo eggs and diplo chunks. Let's see if it's changed. Okay, well, the planet's still the same colour. The archive is still in close proximity. Do we still have diplos? That's the question. Let's just give them a little bit of time to spawn in. Okay, let's just go into the old camera mode. Put the sun in the sky. There you go, there's my mecha Diplo. Isn't he lovely? I think I just saw a Diplo walking around in the background. Yes, look, there's one over there. Let's go say hello. Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah, they're still as awesome as they were before. Yeah, coolio. We've still got Diplos here. Fine, happy with that. No floating islands, but, you know, it's still awesome. A very cool base. And very cool place. Look at all the diplos. Sweet! Happy with that! Something I'm noticing is the swamp planet seem to have changed. So here's my swamp planet here. Dirty meat and offal. An Endor-like planet. Let's go there and let's see if this one has changed. Not that I'm overly keen on this, but it was a swamp planet. Ah, well, it's still a swamp planet. It is actually a really nice swamp planet, as far as swamp planets go. Got a very purpley hue to it. Some fairly gnarly trees. Fairly gnarly sort of vegetation. And the base itself is nestled quite nicely. Git! I saw that. It just freaking bit me, didn't it? Take that, you, you biter. Okay. Well, um, cool. I wonder if it's got those insectoidy type pets on here. That'd make it really cool, wouldn't it? What are you? I just saw something with wings. It's a little flying bipedal chap. Oh, it could be why I called this Endor. Because it's got Ewok-like creatures on it. It's probably why I put a base here, to be honest. Because that was actually really cute, wasn't it? All right. I just heard a weird noise. It didn't sound like a creature that I'm used to hearing. Mm. It's got these weird ball things rolling around on it with tentacles sticking out of them. I don't remember them. Mm, bizarre. Alright. Fine. Well, that's that planet then. 
There's loads of small creatures on this planet. Weird ones. Look at them. Strange. Okay, um, I don't know whether you guys want the code for this planet, but there you are. If you do, there it is down there. there might be somebody out there that likes it. I'm not overly keen. Right, okay, cool. Let's head back. I think so far I've been pretty lucky, haven't I? But and nothing's really changed, especially my bases. Okay, chums, this is another save on my PlayStation. When we used to have to have, like, normal saves, creative saves, now you can just change them on the fly. But I built this without the green this was before it was even green stated you know i last edited it says back in 2022 let's go there okay chums it's going to be the last base that i visit but so far i've been fairly happy with how all my bases are none of them i need to rebuild they're all on the ground they're all on the level they all look great a couple of planets changed a couple of them even got floating islands which is a freaking bonus and a half one even got lovely giant insect creatures on it and it was an insect build planet perfect so you know what all in all i'm pretty darn happy okay now this system was discovered by er burrows we have given out the portal code for this, so I think I'm still okay to give out the portal code for this, but this is in a weird galaxy. I can't even remember what galaxy it's in. But um, let's go into the old camera mode. I love the hues on this planet now, but look at the size of this base that I built. Now, this did take me a number of hours. And uh, yeah, like I say, this was before you had green state in. Oh, his feet have gone into the ground. Well, one of his feet have gone into the ground and the other one seems to be okay, unless it's just not rendered properly. But you know what, I can live with that. But look at the colors on this planet now. That is so epic and awesome. But yeah, this base took me some time to build. It should have landing pads where these um, corridors jut out, but they're the old style landing pads and I know they've gone a bit weird. But yeah, it was years ago that I made this, you know, 2022. But yeah, this is the, the base that I'm going to end off on. And I'm not too sure. I, I don't think it's in Euclid, so there's probably no point in me sharing the portal code for this. But it's called my Sentinel Titan. If you just uh, search Sentinel Titan Captain Steve, you'll find the videos where I showcase this anyway. And it would have the portal code, the galaxy, how to get here, all that sort of shenanigans in that video. And there's some other epic bases here. The sky was not this epic before. That is beautiful. What a beautiful planet. Oh, that's really cool. Love it. There you go, people. And this is on my PlayStation 5 as well. It looks this awesome on my PlayStation 5. Pretty impressed myself, to be fair. Okay. Right. Well... Might as well end off at this point, I suppose, people. But yeah, overall, I'm actually really happy with how everything turned out. And uh, hopefully, when you go visit your bases, hopefully you're going to find similar. You know, hopefully all of your bases are fine. I have heard all sorts all over the web that you know, bases have been ruined, planets have been ruined. But by and large, I would say 90% of mine, the planets, are actually better and I'd say 90% of my bases are okay. Some of the really old ones like this one, yeah, the foot's in the ground. But look at that. The planet just looks freaking epic now. I mean, the cave systems on this planet look epic as well. Kind of want to go and explore this planet a bit because I don't remember it looking this awesome. But there you go, people. That's pretty much everything I've got for you. Until next time, salute to Mondo. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Captain Steve, Captain